Having seen him end November with a torn bicep, unusable in his final match, we wondered if Hideno Umi would be able to fight at all just seven weeks later. Yet stunningly, his powers of recovery have put him in our outstanding performers section for January 2021. And here's why. Given his ranking in the top half of Division 2, even six wins this time would have prolonged the salaried existence he so obviously loves. But thoughts he might do just the bare minimum to keep it were dispelled on opening day with this dominant display against Azumariu. Although not keen to impact with the right, he felt fine deploying it in a second move, before leaving the shifting to the frontal left. Hideno Umi's next match would require far more physical and mental stamina against the man who knows him better than any opponent, Tsurugisho, who'd attended the same university, high school, junior high, and junior sumo club. And the grip he deployed on Azumaru the previous day failed to work, his left unable to get enough purchase. At that stage he'd have thought little of it, but he now knows this was the match that cost him the title. On day three, he was delighted merely to fight Daishomaru with two functional arms, unlike in November. And it looked like he needed neither of them, as his opponent simply slipped. A push-out of veteran Shaw Hozan then added useful momentum ahead of Division 1 duty on Day 5, when he stepped up to face technically gifted Midori Fuji. And Hide followed up his win in November by keeping the lighter man at bay with the left until the right was ready to move in. A real feather in his cap. On day six, his inside right was outstanding, constantly pulling Dayamami upwards until the left forced him onto one leg. He was then pegged back by the driving power of weighty Hakuyozan on the middle Saturday, but was quick to brush that off, promptly swinging Nishikigi onto his weaker ankle and out on day 8. The next day brought involvement in a good old-fashioned grapple with Takagenji. Finished with a move from the textbook of Takagenji's stablemate, Takakesho, and which would surely have cracked the average man's ribs. But on day 10, he faced the iron left grip of Mitoryu. and only succeeded in pulling him into his chest. Another defeat followed against veteran Ikioi, who put him down with a pulling outer arm throw. But Hide would not be denied a winning score thrice, as salaried debutant Tohakuryu found to his cost. Still with faint title hopes, 
Hidenoumi matched, demotion threatened Duko for spirit on day 13. The recovered inside right, winning that one almost single-handedly. And he remained in the title hunt on day 14, when bringing up double figures with a push-out of lifeless Kotoyuki. Sadly, Tsurugisho had already claimed the title by default by the time of his final match, but he still had much to fight for. Asked once again to move up a level, he was paired with stuttering Akua, the implication being that if he won, he would replace his opponent in Division 1. And win he did with a relentless scooping display from both arms. Quite some headbutt of the clay there by Akua, who wasted no time in proving he was fully conscious with an athletic butt-up. But his look to the heavens confirms his knowledge of what was at stake. He believes he's just forfeited his Division 1 place to Hideno Umi. We will know this for sure in the next 24 hours, and if Hideno Umi does go up, he'll be fighting with younger brother Tobizaru at the highest level for the very first time.